All eyes are on Governor Hogan after a series of police reform bills passed through the General Assembly. WJC is live. Paul Gessler on what those bills would do should the governor sign them and what he has to say. Paul. Well, Vic, Maryland's Republican governor now must weigh what Maryland's Democratic controlled legislature passed after months of debate. Bills that include limits on no knock warrants and expanded access to police disciplinary files. Use of force does not just benefit one jurisdiction. But it Debating behind partitions, the Maryland no Senate Wednesday passed a series of police reform bills. Because only when we restore trust and integrity are we going to then be able to have a safer state. Senator Jill Carter sponsored Anton's law, which would make public police disciplinary records. SB 71 establishes a statewide use of force. Officers convicted of causing serious injury or death would face up to 10 years in prison. The standard that we currently have across the United States is just not working. Opponents argued officers have a unique, dangerous job whose standards should be different. Aside from the fact they might be shot or knifed and killed, they've also got the, the threat that they could be indicted. This bill will incarcerate police officers for doing their job. It, it may catch people who did wrong, too. Many Republican senators pulled back their support for the bills after they say the House changes went too far and passed too quickly. So here we go once again, putting politics above the public safety. Well, how much more time do you think you're going to need? We've waited two or three generations for this day. The bills now go to the governor's desk. When asked Thursday, Governor Hogan said he'll take the time to read them, but had concerns. They turned it into five bills, which I have not seen. We got it at 1045 last night. There were some really good police reforms in some of the bills. Unfortunately, there's some terrible stuff that they kind of mixed together. Back live now, Maryland lawmakers also repealed the Law Enforcement Officers Bill of Rights, which critics say has long stood in the way of police accountability. Reporting live at 6 tonight, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.